Your taste still lingers on my lips Like I just placed them upon yours And I starve, I starve for you This new diet's liquid Indulging to the senses And it's cream But it will you <laughs> I'm sorry, Laird Um, Laird <laughs> <laughs> My button got caught. <laughs> hey, how's it? You know the rules. Hey, guys. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Fans. <coughs> Bless you. Oh, whoa. Dude, this week was crazy. What happened? You know Bert Kreischer? Yeah, I love him. The big boy? The big boy, Bert Kreischer. Well, we became friends. Yeah? Through OnlyFans. He started following me and tipping me so good. <laughs> like Sweet. I was like, dude, I'll take you surfing. And he's like, really? Like, let's do it. Because he likes to surf. I've wanted to surf. Yeah. I've wanted to surf. I surfed as a little bit as a kid, but like as an adult, I thought this would be a cool thing to be able to do. I, I know the guy's legit. I know that f he makes surfing fun. And I kind of knew... And I hit up like a couple guys, like Nathan Florence, and I was like, yeah, that surf school is pretty good. Yeah, it's good break. So I took him out, and he was so nervous. Yeah. Like he was tripping. Like I do surf lessons at Pipe. Like I'll swim out and push people in. That sounds so dangerous. <laughs> but the first wave, I like pushed him in, and he got the biggest barrel I've ever <laughs> seen. And he start, He was like, he was like angry at people. Cause like he, he came out of the barrel, and he's like. He got cocky. He, it was like something took over him. <laughs> he pushes me into a big wave and I arch. Ooh. I'm moving now. Mm -hmm. Slide my feet around. Stood up and I was f***ing surfing. He used his belly as an advantage. Ooh. Like when he was in the barrel, it's like he almost fell and he like swung <laughs> it up and it like hit him in the chin. But like he kept. Well, you know when guys Whoa. have to slow down to get tubed? Yeah. He uses, Does he stick his belly Yeah, up? he was using his belly. <laughs> it was incredible. Like it's just like take him straight. To the yeah. hardest. Right. And they'll get better so much faster. <laughs> when I swam in, like, he kissed me on the forehead. And he's like, I will never forget you. He seems like an emotional dude. Yeah, he started crying. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm not, I can't believe that he did. I got away. <laughs> <laughs> we got a new game this week. It's called... Who does Kelly Slater follow and not Sterling Spencer? What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> I never know the names of the games. Guess who he follows over you? Dolly freaking Parton. He picked Dolly over me? He picked <laughs> Dolly Parton <laughs> over you. There's Dolly right there. He follows the Weather Channel over you. Well, that makes sense. He follows Gordon Ramsay over you. Well, um, you know. TMZ? What? Queen Latifah. He also follows this account called underscore dot mukbang dot ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly likes. He picked mukbang over me. <laughs> okay, this one's weird. He follows Pottery Barn Teen. <laughs> it goes on there. It's all pictures of Pottery Kids? Barn furniture for teenagers. Kid furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly likes Teen Pottery Barn <laughs> furniture. He follows Kid Rock, Miley Cyrus, but not me. The Australia Zoo. This account called Nut Shots, when it's just shots of people getting hit in the nuts. I swear. <laughs> that and hits below the belt for right. me. <laughs> and he follows two female girls named Kelly Slater. This game show is incredible. So here's what I think. <laughs> I would love you to tell that story about why you think he doesn't follow you from the phone call situation. Well, I lost Kelly's trust. What happened? Well, I was doing a live broadcast of the Pipeline Masters in the early O's. And I had Kelly's number at the time. In your phone. In the video, the live stream was filming him on the beach. I was like, I'm going to call him. <laughs> so I like calling, seeing if he would pick up. And I was like, look, everyone, I'm calling him. <laughs> and the second I put it, his number, his was, number was backwards because of the mirror effect. Right. And then so some kid <laughs> screenshot it, flipped it around, <laughs> and started calling Kelly and gave it to all his friends. And then during the pipe contest, like, he said thousands of kids were calling him. Dude. So you blew up Kelly's number. I gave Kelly's number. On accident. On accident. And tell tell everyone what he said when he called you. <laughs> 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 well, he called me, and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> and I didn't answer. Oh, and then God. he called again. I'm like, <laughs> no. 
got to answer. And then I finally answer, and he's like, sup, guy? <laughs> and I'm like, Kelly? <laughs> <laughs> sup, guy? He's like, you you just giving my number out? <laughs> I'm like, Dang it, dude. what? And I, and I just said, I was like, I'm sorry, Kelly. Like, <laughs> please forgive me. And he was so mad, but didn't curse. It's like he was so professional. He's like a disappointed father. <laughs> <laughs> but the meanest thing he said was called me guy. Sup, guy? Yeah, that hits. I was like, whoa, dude. So he didn't have to do that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably why he doesn't follow you on Instagram. If yeah, that's when I lost him. Wow. Well, that's a sad thing you did. That was stupid. Right. You've pissed off a lot of people. <sighs> well. Last week we heard about you and Laird. To live a full life, you have to. Crush a few skulls. <laughs> 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 to get to the top, you got to. Yeah, you gotta climb the ladder. Climb maybe. a couple collarbones. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day out here. Today's President's Day. Idiots. The whole beach is overrun with. There's one president, old president. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton. All right. Who's <laughs> gonna? <laughs> Who wants a beach? <laughs> it's President's Day, and we ran. There's Bill Clinton. All right. Who wants a HJ? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, that's in the past. Oh, he sees us. All right, Monica Lewinsky. You've had enough of this. It's time for Uncle Bell to show you who's boss. I had the craziest thing happen to me. Like, yeah. I, I'm an Uber driver. Right. And I picked up this dude, and it was insane. He was like the ghost of Chris Farley. Oh, thanks. Dude, thank you. My name's Aaron. Sterling. Sterling, bro. Nice to meet yeah. you. So you picked up this guy and he was insane. Well, I have to have a camera in my car for security reasons. And he just sat in the front seat and, like, kind of took over. You don't mind if I use a seatbelt, do you? No, no. Go for it. I don't trust anybody, bro. Ladies! I used to be an announcer at a strip club. Really? Yeah. I like you, man. You're cool. Sterling. <laughs> Sterling, you're a little guy. <laughs> you're bad. You're this little. <laughs> One of his toes were so much longer. Ooh. And that made me, f he like would grab stuff with it. I was like, hey, can you <laughs> grab that over there? He's like, tell us what it's like to Uber drive. You sit there, they get in, and then what? Do you talk to him or do you like to keep to yourself? Well, my Uber driving is like an OnlyFans combo platter. <laughs> Dang, that's so smart. it's like I have a chart. You get in the car and I have a chart, <laughs> and it's like shirtless, pantless. Oh. So they request buttholes. they request you to be shirtless. Yeah, so it's like you, like I get thirteen bucks for shirtless. Or Uber fans. It's like a. <laughs> <laughs> so I have like my rates. Right. So butthole is like the most. So Uber Uber rides. What's it called? <laughs> Uber fans. Uber fans. Dude, this is genius. <laughs> How long have you been doing this? Uh, about ten years. <laughs> <laughs> ten years. <laughs> That's crazy. So this guy just wanted to talk, though. He didn't request any weird stuff. Well, he paid the max. But in the video, you're not shirtless. <laughs> <laughs> Uber. <f> <laughs> so Taylor Knox called you out the other day. Let's see it. Sterling challenged you to an air duel. And I'm serious. <laughs> you know I'm serious. I'm always serious. Dude, his face is seriously like looking into everybody. <laughs> everybody's dad that you've ever been scared of. His face He's is like the nicest military. He's like the nicest, scariest looking dude ever. <laughs> He's so serious. He's so serious. <laughs> so you have so he's calling you out to do an air or something? All right, I'll go do it right now. All right. <laughs> go for it, Sterling. All right. Taylor, you're dead. Okay. Whoa. Well, smoked them. Taylor, sit Sorry, down. Taylor. Sorry, Uncle Knox. You got any more tricks to get into the 12th, bro? Well, I'm super flexible, like, checking out, like... Whoa. <sighs> <laughs> Does that hurt? So this is called the twelfth can can. You, uh, can. So I, I get in the air and I click <laughs> my feet together, and then I 
and then I do a full. My ankles are super flexible, and then I do a full 360, and then kink, kink. <sighs> Dang, I heard some crackling in there. <laughs> hey Ryan, what's up, Sterling? How do you know if a surfer is from California? How? They'll tell you. Ooh. So I'm kind of nervous, dude. Really? About what? So I'm, I've just booked a ticket to California. I'm going to like a, it's a conference, pastor's conference thing. Mm. And I'm scared. Like, is it illegal to be fat in California? Because I remember their last time, everybody's running. Everyone's competing about their calories. It's so scary over there if you're chubby. I think so. Really? Yeah. Like, it's pretty is there like a corset you could slip on? That's a good idea. I've seen the ads for those ones that they roll over your stomach and mix it so you can't breathe. The fat just pops out of your neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that sucks. That I might need to cancel my ticket. How do you know if a server is from California? <laughs> 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 so Gerard Butler and Bradley Cooper are huge surf fans. I saw them at the like WSL internet show, and there was footage of you like dancing or doing something on the beach, and they were so into it. Well, like between heats, for more points, I'll dance. Hmm. That's a thing. Surfers yeah. do that. Well, yeah, dude. They they come to every contest. Yeah, they had like suits on. They like to like dress up nice hmm. and like really support me. That's cool. Gets them going so much, and when I like <laughs> jiggle my belly, they're just like they, <laughs> they, they love. They it. lose their minds. It's crazy. They follow me like everywhere I go. Hmm. Every tour stop, they're there. Is it because like you guys? Connected in LA that night. Well, I think it's because when we were peeing that one time. You and Gerard. Yeah, our our pee streams crisscross. Ooh. It was like. Sss. It's like a brotherhood. And he was like, "I'll forever be there for you." Cause dude, they were losing their minds. Dude, every like sick trick I did, they were just like. <gasps> <laughs> they were like so happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Oh, whoa, dude. What? I was out. <sighs> was in the 12th. Guess who I saw? Who? Laird. You saw Laird in your... He was angry at me. Makes sense. You make fun of him a lot. We used to. I feel like I, I should apologize. You should. I've known Laird for a while now, and I have a lot of respect for him. He's working hard to be the best paddleboarder out there, and he's doing a fantastic job. I have to admit, though, I've been kind of a jerk to Laird. I've teased him about being the best and stuff like that, but that's all because I look up to him so much. I want to be the best paddleboarder just like he is. So I'm here today to apologize and say that I'm sorry. And I admire you, Laird. You really are the best. I'm sorry for being so mean. My admiration for you is something I can't conceal. Come on and show me the way you're the best paddleboarder. <laughs> Come on and show me the way. You're the best at paddleboarding, as they say. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a song for Laird to show how serious I am. I'm sorry, Laird, for all the joking. I know that surfing ain't no joking, but you've inspired me to take a chance, and I show some courage. Find out if I can. I'm grateful for your surfing style To catch those waves, you take them wild It ain't easy for sure, but you still try To ride them all in the big blue sky What the fans don't know is we're actually working on a 10-track album. We're working on a Spotify album. Yeah. It's going to be great. What are some of the most like well-known free surfers? I, know it's kinda I feel like free surfing's dead. Is it really? Now it's become YouTube surfing? Yeah. Really? Um, don't want to say it, but <laughs> I started it. <laughs> you started it? For sure. You kind of did, yeah. And the Billabong 
like you talked about this, how they were paying you. It's and not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I'm going to fix your mic, sweetheart. So yeah, free surfing's dead. It's just become like, are you a YouTube? Well, there's no surf? magazines. Right. So no photos. And like, there's no movies, surf movies. Yeah. So, so it's th- kind of like Insta surf bros. <laughs> so you're either a, a tour surfer or an Instagram surfer. Internet surfing, I call Internet it. Internet surfing. Yeah. So you think you're the king of that? Or I, the, the I wouldn't say the king, but... The forefather? Yeah. Crazy. I started it. And it was... Not to talk about myself, but... <laughs> <laughs> well, you told a story once while Billabong... You stopped touring and Billabong was like, yeah, just we'll pay you the money and you just keep being you. I was an outsider when I started. And people thought I was crazy. And, like, I'm... People tell me, like, this is the biggest mistake you've ever made in your career ever. Quitting the tour. Yeah, quitting the tour and just doing internet surfing. Hmm. And it feels good because now there's only internet surfing. (laughs) 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 It is true. Mr. Beast said you're looked at as crazy or stupid until you're successful. Right? He's right. He's right. Mr. Beast. Mr. Freaking Beast. (laughs) (laughs) What the heck? So, like, surf photographers, right? We I remember going on a few trips with you, like, with Chris Straley. He was super rad. We caught him on video eating a booger. Remember that? <laughs> and he spit it out. <sighs> you remember when we used to go to Mexico all the time? Are we allowed to talk about that? Well. It's been long enough? I think so. It's been over a decade. Well, yeah. We used to go down there on some secret missions. Well, I used to smuggle raw machado boards down to Mexico. And they're illegal. They had his hair in it and stuff. Right. For me not to get caught, I had to blend in with the locals. Right. So I wore a, naturally a robe. Well, you were like a, like a you know, what do you a call him, a priest? Yeah, like a priest. You fit right in. No one knew. Dude, no one freaking knew. And I was smuggling so many Ramachado boards. It was crazy. Across the border. And like... Uh, we would stick them in the back of the truck and they would like swing. Fire. I remember one I one time Kelly took us on his private plane. Yeah, but it, there was a ton of people on it. Well, you you promised me. You said Kelly's taking us on a private plane. Well, it wasn't private. He said that though. And we were in coach and he was just sitting there. Yeah. He well, listening. he was sitting in first class. <laughs> <laughs> what was he listening to? I think he listens to uh Queen Latifah. <laughs> <laughs> We're smuggling the Machado boards. His hair was like... His hair is super expensive in Mexico. Right. Like, people use it as, like, trade. It's like, uh, it was like Bitcoin before Bitcoin. Right. Ram Machado's hair. I would go down there so much. At, like, they just started calling me Chancho. And, right. like, all of a sudden, like, I became super famous in Mexico. Is that but they didn't know it was me, right. Sterling. I would go surfing and, like, <clears throat> just blow people's minds. Yeah, it was pretty Like, sick. I was doing, like, stuff Mexican priests have never done before. <laughs> and they're like... I remember you would sleep in the parks on the benches. Right. But that was when you were making a, what do you call it, transaction. Yeah, that was like a trick. <laughs> <laughs> you would sleep <laughs> on the in the parks and act like a homeless priest or something. <laughs> <laughs> Those were some freaking weird times. Well, dude. like, I just blended in like i would skateboard i would hang out with the ninos and yep. like yeah i would just sleep i would sleep on the bench but around like nine thirty, that's when um uh chewy would meet me this chewy. guy chewy yeah oh yeah and uh i would give him the boards and they would hand me the money you'd get in fights with him <laughs> or you'd hop in the seat and get in fights with him remember that oh yeah he was like super alpha yeah and so like i was always getting fights with him and like he was like you said there was going to be a hundred this time. And I was like, look, dude, I can only fit 10 in my board bag. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, take me to the beach. I would always end up like around pro surfers and they're like, where the hell is Sterling? Right. And like, they didn't realize I'm Chancho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You would be right in the middle and they didn't recognize you. They just thought I was gone the whole time. And I would. You fully immersed yourself in the culture. You were doing tornado spin dancing in the. Well, I didn't want to get caught. <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, it was scary. And I had to film, and they were like, why is this guy filming this Mexican dude? <laughs> I remember one time I took my wig off and put it on the dash, <laughs> and I forgot. <laughs> oh, dude, that was scary. I was like trying to t- put, put the hair back put the on. dang wig back on. And then when I would surf, it would fall off. All and the I, time. Like, I almost lost it. Yeah. And I was like, dude, that would, would blow up my cover. That's how you made all your money, right? That's, That's how you got it. your bag. 
Well, back in the day, I didn't make much money from Billabong. Right. So, like, I haven't. I had to take Rob's boards down for him. How much would you get a board? Like one board, how much of that was like two grand? Well, each board had like two pounds of machado <laughs> hair in it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> <laughs> so two pounds of machado hair is like a hundred k. Oh, it was that much? Yeah. So I was taking ten boards. I was making, you know, yeah, ten thousand hundred k. Ten thousand hundred k. Ten hundred k. What does that have to do? <laughs> It's in a million. I know. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. But the hard thing was getting the money back across the border. <laughs> <laughs> w- why was it difficult? Well, I've given the boards and they hand me, you know. Pesos. 10 hundred Ks. <laughs> <laughs> like I had, a, I had like so much money. Yeah. So I would just stuff it in the robe. And I guess like going through airports you can't pat down a priest oh that's genius so that's how i snuck it back there what happened this week in the surf world bethany hamilton dropped a bomb dude bethany's pissed i know i've never seen her this pissed dude her video was so like her vein and her forehead was like protruding so intense dude she's mad here let's watch the vid Today, I want to address the news that the World Surf League has officially made the rule that male-bodied individuals known as transgender athletes can officially compete in the women's division. While I address this issue, I want to be clear that I strive to have love for all of mankind, regardless of any differences. I think many of the girls currently on tour are not in support with this new rule, and they fear being ostracized if they speak up. I personally think that the best solution would be to create a different division so that all can have a fair opportunity to showcase showcase their passion and talent. I personally won't be competing in or supporting the World Surf League if this rule remains. What do you think? I don't know. I'm going to leave this to you. <laughs> well, she seems a little intense. Right. Which I think might be what's offending people. Like, it's just a conversation we need to have. Because right. it's new. It is new. It's like a new thing. Right. Like in the surf world. For sure. I don't think women are worried about trans women. I feel like they're worried about just some idiot guys who are like, oh, f***ing just. Right. I think they're worried about crazy people. The, the extreme of it. Like, some crazy guys like i'm i'm gonna do the hormone therapy and just right i don't think they're i don't think the worry is trans women i think it's like is this gonna open up the door for you know well they're worried about the the extremist thing that could happen but it's not happening the worst case scenario the worst case scenario like kelly doing the hormone therapy and winning 30 more titles (laughs) (laughs) So, I mean, you've heard, you've probably seen podcasts of guys talking about it in, like, fighting, like, the UFC, whatever world. Oh, like, yeah. They go in and just, tick, 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 and beat up every girl. Well, like, you look at LeBron, like, yeah, he's 6'10". Yeah. If he did the hormone therapy, would it change anything, really? Like, probably not. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe get his hair back? <laughs> A little bit. I should have did this years ago. <laughs> I think they should test it. On on one someone. guy. Like, we need someone to do the hormone therapy. For the L- That's a pro surfer right now. Hmm. Like, I choose Luke Davis. You want Luke Davis? I think Luke Davis should do it. Because he's already beautiful. He's already beautiful. He dyes his hair. He looks great. I'm picking Luke to try the hormone therapy and see if if it is fair. Right. How can we know if it hasn't been tested? Yeah, we need a guinea pig. All right, Luke. You heard it here first. but i think people should chill out on the fear it's gonna be okay so if you don't need to like start saying names and stuff so if you were gonna go on her side of it like if you like you're playing devil's advocate right now what's the other side what's like what's her whole take on it like what's her fear yeah what's her worst fear that a dude's gonna come in and kelly everything i yeah i think it's like ex pro surfers will go do the hormone therapy hmm they don't really feel like they're women, mm. like they're just manipulating the system. I would love to find out 
if um if a ex pro surfer or a pro surfer did the hormone therapy would it make what would the change like would the change be enough to where it makes it fair oh i see what you mean somebody washed up should do it <laughs> <laughs> like marshall or something just kidding <laughs> <laughs> we love you marshall that was a joke <laughs> Why is he? <laughs> I don't know why he said that. Maybe she's acting so tense because they didn't talk. Right, it was kind about of about f- it first. Right. I just think people, it, they get scared. Right. And they, they instantly go to like this, you know, defense name mode. calling. You and Bethany are homies. I remember that picture of you and her. You kind of had a terrible haircut. <laughs> 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 well, I was with. I went to Nicaragua with Bethany right yeah. after her shark attack. No way. And it was like crazy. And she's so nice. Yeah. That's what's kind of crazy about this video. Like she really is the nicest person. Right. Her and Carissa Moore are the nicest surfer girls ever. Right. When was that picture taken? You guys were at some award show. and you We were at Surfer Paul Awards. Dude, your haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and she's so much taller. I know. And your <laughs> hair was so funny. Look, We're all going to make it. We're all going to make it. and going to be okay. We're going to figure it out. What, um, has there been any, like, discussions? Like, what have you seen from that? Any fallout? Or, like, what's the, what are people's reactions or responses to all this? Seems like there's a lot of hate. Towards Bethany? Mm. Or, oh. Oh, the other way. Mm. Okay. We don't need to get that re- wound up about it. Right. We don't need to start fighting. There's so many comments, like, really mean comments. I I think we just like I said we get Luke Davis, right? Does the hormone therapy? This would fix it. And let's see, <laughs> send him on the women's tour, right? And if yeah. he if he dominates, you know maybe we think. About <laughs> it. <laughs> I gave Donald Trump a surf lesson last week. Yeah, and like he's super mad at me. What happened? Well, he like. He didn't like the surf lesson because he couldn't get inverted. Of course he's not going to get inverted. And then, like, he left his orange wig and I didn't give it. Oh, shit. He's calling, dude. (laughs) Would you look at that? Hello? Hello? Who's this? Sterling, this is Donald. Donald? This is Donald Trump. You gave me a surf lesson. I paid you a lot of money. I paid you $999.99. The most anyone's ever paid probably for a surf lesson. And I fell, and everyone said I had stink bug stance, and I want my money back. I'm very upset. I try to get you to the 12th, but you wouldn't wear the gold Speedo. And that's one of the main rules. I told you I was very uncomfortable because it was, the water was, quite frankly, not the warmest water. And I had a little bit of shrinkage. And it was still a pretty good size. It was, you know, comparable to some of the best. So, so anyways, you... I'm, never, I'm probably never going to take a surf lesson with you again. And, you know, uh, I felt like an absolute dog because the board was very slippery. You didn't put the wax at good, you know, because some of the orange hairspray got on the wax and it was very slippery and I fell. Do you want your orange wig back or should I keep it? I've been looking for my wig and I think... It fell off in the water, and I know you have it, and I know you have it probably on your stupid shelf with Italo's Crocs. And, you know, I want it back because I look very strange without my hair. Mr. President, who's your favorite surfer, Mr. President? My favorite surfer, quite frankly, you wouldn't believe me. If you could put Rosie O'Donnell on a surfboard and she was ripping. The other year I was saying saying a lot of claims. I was saying build a wall and this and that. What I really want to see, I want to see. I want to see more big girl surfers. Really? It's a beautiful thing for sure. It's fantastic. Are you running for president again? Like, are you really going to do that to us? You know what? I think a lot of people are saying I might. And um, probably I think I'm going to win. A lot of people are going to be very upset. What are you going to do to help the surf community? (laughs) We're going to probably build a lot of jetties. There is a rumor going around that you're going to enter the women's WSL. Well, I think I stand a pretty strong chance. You know, I was talking about big girls ripping, and if I just, you know, turn into a woman, I think I'd be a pretty big ripper woman. Right. What's your favorite surf trick? Probably inverted tricks. 
because I taught them to you? Well, you said you taught me inverted tricks, but quite frankly, I don't think I learned anything from you. I learned everything I know from Tyler Allen at LocalLegendSurfAcademy.com. The world's number one surf lesson, <laughs> Local Legend Surf Academy, where you arrive a novice and leave a legend. <laughs> <laughs> I took the lessons after your tremendously bad lesson, and quite frankly, Tyler taught me a lot of stuff. I think I'm ready to take on the women. <laughs> Trump 2024. Well, thank you for your time. Uh, you know, Florida people, great people, and uh, I want to say thank you uh, for your support. Thank you, Mr. President. Okay, whatever, Trump. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. It's over, dude. All right. Uh, it was a beautiful day. I'm going to bed. All right. I love you. I'll see you later. Uh... How said? Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch My Salt. <laughs>